Hello, it's Wednesday. I haven't been here in a while because first I was sick and then I forgot it was Wednesday and stuff happened because I missed an entire week of school and I'm still not completely caught up with everything. And I have rehearsal for, and I have rehearsal lots, so I'm busy. I've started watching Avatar The Last Airbender and Oh, it's really good. I love it so much. It's so good. I should have watched this sooner. I love it so much. I'm almost done with book one, and then I will eventually be done with everything, and then I will watch more stuff. And it's so good, and I love everything. Today I'm kind of happy, so that's good. So the Hunger Games movie. <gasps> it was so good. Oh my god. God, I went to the midnight premiere and I had an excellent PETA cosplay. I didn't see anyone else in the theater I went to dressed up, which was disappointing. But I had a great costume and I put it together in 15 minutes because at the last minute I was like, no, I want to dress up as PETA because I want to carry some bread around because it'll be funny. So I did that and it made me happy. Spoiler time for two things that they left out that made me a little bit sad. <clears throat> it was so good, but the main thing that bothered me was that they didn't have the mutts having the faces of the tri of the tributes who died, because to me that was such a huge part of it. That was ooh, that was a huge part. Like that helped so much to show just how ruthless the capital is and all of them to just show they're like oh whoa. These guys are serious. Not only are they gonna just send a bunch of kids and just make them kill each other, but once they kill each other, they're gonna make them kill each other some more. And I loved that so much in the book. But they didn't have it in the movie. And okay, okay. I'm not mad. Just a little disappointed. And Peter didn't lose his leg. But Jennifer Lawrence, oh my god, she is amazing. It was so good. And I think that I am going to marry Jennifer Lawrence, and then we will be happy and together forever. Five favorite things about spring. One, my birthday, which is April 1st, and that's on Sunday. It's on Sunday. And I'm going to be in New York. I'm leaving on Friday, and I'm going to be in New York on Friday, and I'm going to see... Vicky and Stella and all of the other people and it's going to be wonderful and we're going to have such a lovely time and then I'm going to come back home and miss you. Two, school's almost over. Three, my musical. So I am in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown and that is happening in the end of April and all of you should come to Maryland. Just come visit me and see my musical. Four, it's so pretty. Spring is beautiful. My camera likes the spring. And my cats like it too. Five. Five. I don't have to wear as many jackets. I can get away, I can wear just like one jacket or even no jackets instead of like four, which has happened in the winter because my school, he, yeah, no, he doesn't work in the spring. You don't have to worry about that. And it's nice when the weather is just pretty and you can just go outside and be wearing not so much clothes and then you're you're not cold or sweaty. But allergies suck. Yeah, so that is five things that I like about the spring. And I have a knife. It's plastic and you can just go like, stab. And it's really fun. And it's jingling. So, for theater, I'm doing short plays tomorrow, performing mine. And I'm in two of them. So, um, in one of them, I get to be a little girl and I get to be murdered. And it's really fun. There's just one thing that really, really pisses me off. People need to learn their lies. I'm really excited about everything that's going on right now, except for, like, math. Day of week it is. Tomorrow is the next one. I will see you tomorrow. It's Elle. My shirt's very, very open today. 
usually more like, mm, but today is like, mm.